Hey, this is Rachel Marshall, and I wanted to share with you today why savings is what creates financial confidence for you. We've been talking on the series of Cash is King, and I want to really dig into why savings creates that confidence that you crave. Savings as a financial strategy. Because often we have these financial strategies and these ideas that we pursue and we are hoping for confidence. That's really what we're looking for. This sense of confidence and peace and control in our financial life. And really all the decisions that we make are in an attempt to get there. But I want to lead you down this thought path just for a quick moment on some of the things that we typically look to in order to create that confidence and why savings is a better tool instead. So one of the things that people look to to get confidence is budgeting. And while budgeting is a way to be able to look at your finances and say, here's what I really need and here's what I don't need and here's what I can be sufficient and do without, budgeting in and of itself in this way of saying, these are the things I can't have, really focuses on cutting down expenses. And the truth is you can cut down expenses considerably. You could remove a lot of your spending and get to a position where you live on far less than you earn. But that in itself will never create true confidence because what you realize is that the point of budgeting is to have a surplus. And when you have a surplus that you're saving, it's really your savings that will save you in the event of an emergency or a loss of income. It's not the budget that brought the confidence, it was the savings that brought confidence. And so no amount of budgeting with the intent and the focus just on the act and the execution of budgeting is really going to produce confidence. It may be necessary for you at the given space and time that you're in to figure out a way to cut your expenses, but the budget itself is not the lifeline. The savings is really your objective. Another thing that people look to is paying off debt. And I know this is a really emotional and touchy subject for many people because they feel that true peace and financial freedom come from this place of having no loan obligations and no credit cards and no debt. And so there's almost this emotional, visceral reaction that somebody has to this idea of being in debt or out of debt. And the purpose, again, that we're looking for is that confidence. So when somebody is building this objective, building towards this objective of getting out of debt, that has them putting their money into paying off these loans. And while they are reducing the balance, and it's a great step to having your financial life, the problem is that it can lead you to a position where all of your debts are paid off, but you don't have capital in your control and you have no savings. And in that position, that debt being paid off is not going to produce confidence and certainty because you may end up in a position where you have to again go into debt because you don't have savings to cover an emergency. So savings helps you face an uncertain future because none of us have any idea what the future truly holds. We can plan what's in our control, but then there's a lot of unknowns in all of our future. Savings can help us to feel proud of what we have accomplished, what we have been able to preserve and set aside so that we can do something even greater than just spend it today. And savings helps us to feel independent because now we're not required to lean on someone else or another financial institution in order to be truly confident and have all of our needs met. And savings really helps us to realize life goals because as we save, we now have money that we can do something with. And whether that be starting a business or funding a nonprofit or taking time away from your income producing work so that you can focus on other work, maybe writing a book, those things that are life goals are going to be able to come to fruition if you have the savings on the side that provides that safety net and that confidence. Thank you so much. I'll see you next time. Hi, this is Rachel. I hope you enjoyed this episode of Money Secrets. If you did, like this video, subscribe to our channel, 
and leave a comment below. I would like to invite you to get your free cash flow generator to help you start keeping more of your money. Come on over to marshallsinsurance.com slash cashflow generator to sign up.